Hi, welcome back. I'm Chris Sakara. We're going to take a look at Creo Parametric 8.0 with this new functionality uh, that was actually released with 7.0 and it, uh, with multi bodies. Now, I used to have an exercise 14 pre version 7, and we did it much differently as far as making molds. So, today we're going to make this bottle mold that you see here, and we have uh, two halves of the cavity. We have the bottle, and then we have an insert up here at the top, a beryllium insert. And this is my background. I at one time worked for a blow molding shop and was designed design these things back in uh, Unigraphics or what is now NX. Anyhow, I really like what they've done with it. We're going to step through how to do that. I want to show you some little tips and tricks. Uh, there probably is a better way to do some of this um, because it's very new to me, this technology, even though I've been using Creo, which I speak called Pro Engineer since 1995, pretty much. Um, this is still really neat what they've done. And if any of you have any comments or easier or better ways of doing this, please comment on it because it's, uh, it's pretty neat. I really am excited to see what they've done. All right, so this is our goal to create this. Now, if you don't have this bottle part, Typically, my students in my class, my advanced class, we make this. We actually make that bottle. So you need to make the bottle yourself. But if you don't have that, and if you don't really care to make it, if you just go to Vertanu 1, as you can see here, Vertanu 1, and then click on Part Files, you should be able to find under the white column, which is the, Cre the Creo parts, you'll find the Exercise 14 Part 5.0. This one was built in version 5. Of Creo, which is fine. And if you want to see the video for that, type in E13 and uh, Creo, I think five, and you'll be able to see the video. Okay, so now let's get started. I'm going to go to new. Uh, actually, not new. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and open the part. Let me close this out. And I just don't want there to be anything left over. So I am actually closing all the files. It's a good thing to purge all that. Otherwise, you have a chance of bringing up old files. And so by closing it and then restarting it, I think it's work. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Open. And I'm going to go to the, my, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the file that I just brought over, the E13 bottle. All right, and here we have it. All right, now some of the things you see on it, um, if you want to turn off the curves and such, you can either right click on them individually or you can go over here to the layer tree and just find curves and right click on curves and hide those. And that cleans up the bottle a little bit. And then you might want to turn off the layer tree. We could also turn off all this. We don't really need that, all those uh, planes and such. All right, now. We're going to start off and we're going to use the multi-body solids, which was new for version 7, which is really neat. You just go to new body here. And this first body, we're going to go ahead and name this the cavity and underscore. You've got to put little underscores if you're going to put a space many times in Creo. Not every time, but in this case, you just want to make sure. And we'll call this the rear cavity rear, and I'm going to call it B because I've already, uh, actually I'm going to just call it, yeah, we'll call it rear B because I already have some files saved like that. I don't want it to get confused. All right, now we have the new body inside there, and we're currently editing it, so we're going to go ahead and work with that. Go to extrude and select the front plane, and it should start a sketch automatically here. It's interesting, my graphics look very different than I'm used to seeing, but that's okay. Let's go to the orientation here. 
and zoom out. And we're just going to draw a rectangle to surround the geometry. Make sure it's completely in the envelope. Hit OK. Let's flip the direction and bring this up to three inches. Hit the green check. Now we could go ahead and we're going to do our Boolean operation. Now when you click on Boolean operation, you'll see merge, intersect, and subtract. The most common problem I, I did it twice is I forgot to look at this because it always sets it to merge. But in this case, when you're making molds, you're always going to go to subtract, almost always. All right, so make sure you don't forget that. No, it resets it sadly each time. But bodies to modify, select this rectangle. And then the modifying body is the actual bottle. And you'll see right away it previews it, with the cavity, which is really cool. But we want to keep the body, so make sure you select that. And don't forget to select that one over and over again in this. So hit the green check. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring in another version of that. Uh, so let's go back to new body. And we'll call this, uh, and by the way, over here you could actually see the bodies that we've created. So we've created the cavity rear. So we'll create the cavity underscore front underscore B. And you don't have to add that B. It's only because I've made this part a couple times. All right. And also this um, body here, that's the bottle. Let's go ahead and name that. Just click once, wait a second, click a second time, and that's the bottle. And this will just help keep clear what we're working on. Now we're currently working on the cavity front. You can see because it has a little star on it. That's the part we're editing. So now we could go back to extrude. And again, I'm going to select the front plate. Now you can select this face, but be aware the more faces you select off of other bodies, when we break this out into separate parts, um, you might not want those connections. So uh, just be aware. It might make it easier if we just select, in this case, to select the front plane. And now we could just select these edges here, or we could just go with a rectangle. Again, I don't like to put too many relations between these geometries because then you run into some issues. Now I'm just going to click on that corner to this corner, and then I want to get rid of that constraint, believe it or not. And sometimes you might want to keep it, but I don't in this case. So I'm going to delete those. Uh, we could lock it as well if we wanted, There's, but we're going to leave it as is. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And then this one, we want to extrude that 3 inches as well. And hit OK. And I'm also going to go to uh, Shading with Edges. All right, now that we have that, we're, we can do the split on that one. But let's hide the rear. So click on Cavity Rear B here and click on Hide. And so now we can see this side. And now we want to make a Boolean operation. And don't forget subtract. The body to modify is the block. And the modifying body is the bottle. Keep bodies. Hit the green check. Pretty quick and easy. A lot better than it used to be. We used to have to do this through assembly. All right, now let's go to new body. And we're going to add an insert. And we're only going to do it on one side. You could add it on both sides if you like. Technically, this is when I used to work in this industry, we would do this for the molds. Basically, for some of these molds, um, especially bigger ones, there's a head tooling that goes up here. And basically, a hot plastic, it looks like a hefty bag, or depending upon what color of plastic you're working with, drops down into this little area, and then it inflates with hot air. And so in the upper area here, we would have some issues with it getting too hot. So a brilliant engineer came up with an idea to actually put in a a heat sink of sorts using um, a beryllium type copper that really assisted with keeping it cool. Anyhow, we do have cooling lines and things that run through it, but I'm not going to go through that right now. Okay, so now to do this, let's see, we want to go ahead and we finish that cavity, go to new body, and we'll go ahead and call this, this is going to be the um, front Next, let's call the insert front. And you could go back and add the insert front, uh, rear as well. I'm not going to do that here. 
go ahead and hit OK, because I think you'll get the idea. All right. <clears throat> and now we go to Extrude. We have to select, again, let's select the front plane. And the front plane works really well with this particular model, uh, just simply because it's that's our parting line. And when it's not this, when it's a more complex parting line, everything gets a little considerably more complex. So apologize for this being very easy. Now let's go to Rectangle and up on this edge here, click and drag this across and just dip it in a little bit. Again, remember, we're just trying to create a heat sink. Insert, middle click, delete this relationship. And now we could go ahead and go to OK. And it should drop it down. And we only want it to go one and a half inches deep. Let's just make sure it looks like it's clearing it. Yeah, it looks good. All right, and I didn't put any dimensions on there. You can if you like. Um, hit OK. <clears throat> and now we're going to go ahead and do a Boolean operation. Subtract. And we'll first... Did we do the subtract on the base? I can't recall. I think we did. Let's do it on the insert now. So bodies, select the insert. The modifying item. The bottle. Yes, we did do it earlier. Great. Okay. Sorry, it's early morning here, so go ahead and hit green check. And now what we'll do is we'll add some different variations in color so you can see this. So if we go to view, go to appearances, and I'm going to select the, uh, let's see, let's go with a polished copper and select down below here in the filter. You're going to go ahead and find bodies. You can't see it, but it's body. Click on that, middle click. All right, and this is one reason why I like to change the colors, because look at that. I need to now cut this section from that, and we might have wanted to do that in reverse, and that's okay. We could still do that, but let's, um, we have to now activate the cavity front to do that. So click on cavity front. And we'll see if this works. I actually haven't tested this. Um, sometimes with the complexity, it, we may have to go back and reorder this. But set as default body. That's the current one we're working on. And now we could go back to model and the lean operation subtract. And the body to modify is going to be this block here. And the modifying body is our beryllium insert. And it looks like it's successful. Oh, darn, and I forgot to actually select Keep Body. So that's pretty easy, though. Look at this. You just scroll down here, and the body subtract. Right-click, go to the gold ball, which is Edit Definition, and make sure you select Keep Bodies and hit OK. All right, so that's looking pretty decent. So we've got our insert in there. Now, in the preview I showed you earlier, I put fillets in and things like that. Uh, you'll put some fillets in here for ease, so the machine it, guys on the CNC can actually make a better, tighter fit. All right, but we're not going to do that. We could bring back now, or if we want, we could hide any of these bodies and take a look at what we have. So if we click on the, the bottle and we could hide that, there's our cavity with the insert, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to go with Shaded with Reflections to see how that looks. All right, looking good. Now, how could we use this? And I. This is where this is new, newer technology. Like I said, it's been out for a little over a year since version 7 came out. And I haven't had a whole lot of time to work with it. Um, in other systems, they do something similar. But we want to create a family of tape, uh, parts. So I'm going to actually bring everything back. And I actually, last the first time I did this, um, I had some... Um, I wanted to hide some of the other instances. So what I did is I created a blank body. So I'm going to click on new body and I'm just going to call it blank and you're going to see why. And maybe, maybe it's not necessary, but it was one way I figured out how to do this within the past hour. So, all right, we have the blank body and we'll have that as the active. Now we could go ahead and actually let's change the colors of these. So they're, more readily identifiable. So I'm going to go over here to the view and we'll make uh, polished chrome and over here body, select that bottom part, middle click, 
and just so we could tell what's what. So we know the, the cavity of that rear one is uh, a little bit different color. Now, here's where it gets 